Hi, I'm Louise Beard and I'm from Ford Insight and Strategy. I'd like to welcome you to the NZC and Tourism webinar series and today we are running through module 8 around digital and social media. This is a cut down version of the module and the full version you can find on our website www.nzcntourism.co.nz um, where you'll also find lots of other modules and information on the China FIT or Free Independent Traveller Market. This program is built, uh, focused around building value to the China FIT market and is part of a larger program sponsored by the Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment focused around growing um, value from that sector. Other parts of the program, which you can find on the website, um, have reports, um, some top tips and social media toolkits around um, developing um, uh, geolocation and, and um, ways to be found digitally. We also have a social, social media program on Facebook and Twitter and feel free to follow us there. What we're going to do today is look at how to build digital assets and social media and with this module you'll have a clear view of developing a plan and some practical recommendations and guidelines for development. So just to start with why is digital important um, for our Chinese visitors and connecting and activating value from them. They are very sophisticated and confident and very digitally connected, probably one of the most digitally connected um, societies in the world. It's extremely important for them and our independent travellers particularly are confident to plan and book all aspects of their trip online. They live their lives online, they spend time planning online, they share and um, uh, collaborate together online about travelling and they discover online and so that's the kind of place that if we really want to attract and build this market that's where we need to be. Um, we broadly within the free independent traveller Chinese market have two groups. Um, one is our very independent traveller, travellers and planners and they plan everything themselves. They will look up and find um, great things that they want to participate in and, and do uh, they'll find airline deals and they will book for themselves and their cluster group that they're travelling with um, pretty much the whole trip. Others in this independent group would prefer a bit of assistance and they um, have uh, are what we call assisted planners. They certainly are discovering and building up their itineraries online but they often will seek the help of a, what we call a curator, so that's an outbound um, sort of independent travel operator or someone who's based in New Zealand who will help plan itineraries and experiences for them. Both of those groups are really important, both of them are digitally engaged. Um, the all online people are the ones that you can connect with mostly, um, particularly for the booking, um, but both groups are important. Language um, is a really important part of connecting and delivering a great experience for Chinese. Many Chinese don't speak fluent English um, and they certainly, if they do speak, often they don't read. Within one cluster group there will be probably one person who has reasonably good English, but even then um, we can end up talking past each other. So digital is a great way to enable Chinese visitors before they get here and while they're here to understand what our stories are about, what's on offer and to actually connect and provide clarity. And digital is a great way to do it because we can link them through to translated content either on your website or another link. Chinese are using digital throughout the travel experience to build awareness, um, to um, help um, enhance the experience and then advocate to other people about what they've done, why it's good and why they should do it. And um, if you'd like more detail on this, there's a very detailed digital journey map on how our Chinese visitors are planning and travelling their trip. Uh, planning their trip. Um, this shows that on their last visit and their next planned visit to New Zealand, um, 
Independent Chinese travellers are mainly using Chinese-based websites and media channels, which is why it's really important that we have a mechanism to be there. But they're also using New Zealand websites and media channels, particularly um, nznewzealand.com through Tourism New Zealand, um, your own um, websites and regional websites. And they're also using global websites, so we need to have a place in all of those areas. Mobile devices are the absolute norm. Whatever you have, to have in terms of content um, and website building has to be mobile first. If you haven't done that, make sure that you do do that when you rebuild or redesign um, your website. If you can't be easily seen and used um, on a mobile device, then you are not um, able to connect well. So what are our Chinese visitors using? Where do you need to be and how do you connect? This diagram shows a platform of all of the different functions that the Chinese are using, which is very similar to the, to the things that we're doing. So there are mobile social apps, um, video sharing platforms, direct search sites, um, including transport. Um, we've got purchase aggregators, so places you can go to buy, itinerary rating and review sites and planning sites, online travel guides and general search sites. While what people are doing is similar, they're doing more of it than we are and they're using different platforms and sites to do it. Less experienced travellers are mostly using the China sites and more worldly travellers and more experienced and high-end travellers are using New Zealand and global sites more. This is an overview of all of the different sites, um, or not all of them, but a range of different sites and platforms that the Chinese are using. Um, if, again, if you're interested in these in detail, you can look at our online uh, module. But the ones that are particularly important are the ones that are here. The most important probably is WeChat, which is a multifunctional social site. It's used for communication. It's a bit like a phishing net. It's around a network of trusted um, people. But also businesses and organisations can have a presence on that site and you can do um, uh, searching, booking and potentially also purchasing through WeChat. Um, Weibo is New Ze uh, Chinese equivalent to Twitter, so it's more of a one-to-many site. And while it's useful, it's not personal. It's more about broadcasting your messages, which may or may not be trusted. Um, Baidu is the Google, or well, not equivalent, but it's the search engine, one of the most important search engines in China. And if you're very serious about this, um, you need to be optimised on Baidu. Generally, um, if you are at the beginning of your digital journey, don't worry too much about that. And then we have the very important itinerary rating and review sites, Ma Fong Wu and Chong Yo. This is where the itineraries are posted and things are shared. But again, what we've described these is like TripAdvisor on steroids, because not only are there, there are itineraries, you can do incredible searches here, purchasing, you can get travel insurance, it's very, very multi-layered, as are all of the Chinese digital platforms. Um, and there are travel aggregators like um, Ctrip, which is where a lot of the accommodation bookings are happening. Um, Booking.com, although it's a global site, is also extensively used um, by the Chinese for particularly booking accommodation. So a very quick overview, what is your digital plan? Uh, the short answer is there is no one way. It depends very much on where you're at, what kind of business you've got, where you're at in your development, what are your priorities because it does take time and potentially investment to focus on this area and what are your resources. So you need to very clearly look through what are the options, work out where you're at and how much um, you want to get involved in this space. While we're talking about the China market, um, this digital plan can be relevant to all of your potential customers um, and clients, so it is broader than the China market. So we have outlined three key stages to your digital plan, and in fact if you are well on this journey, there is a fourth stage which is taking things to a much higher level, but in this module we're sticking to the first three. Um, and it doesn't have to go in any particular order, but the very most important um, place to get started is to do nothing other than get others to share about you. Spreading the word in a way that can be found, and we'll go into that in a minute. 
Then it's getting into the art world with great material on a platform that works for you and for them and can be seen in China and linked in the right places. And again, you don't have to do a great deal to um, get to this point other than actually start making sure you've got good content. And then it's really getting active, um, looking at Chinese language, geolocation, active sharing, downloading, and probably spending a bit more time on a regular basis doing uploads and posts. Um, the next stage, stage four, is about getting someone, um, a partner or someone within your organisation to really start pushing and actively generating your whole social media platform, which not only involves sharing, but can involve online bookings, tailored product experiences and payment. So the first, get others sharing about you. Um, the very first and most simple thing is let people know that you would appreciate them sharing. Ask them to, if they love it, share it. Ensure you treat the guests well, provide great service and do something kind, potentially a small gift or a small discount or a little bit extra um, to ensure that people would actually want to share. Set up great photo shoots. Uh, again, that can be shared ideally with your branding and ask them if that you, they would like you to take a photo to share. Um, if you have a website, make sure you have a QR code linked to that website so that you can paste on that website fantastic images that other people can upload to their online um, platform in China social media. Um, put that QR code where it can seen, be seen, send them a thank you email with a link to images or if you're using WeChat, a WeChat um, communication link. Absolutely encourage reviews. You can have a referral widget on your website um, if that's something that you want and you can run image competitions to get people to share and basically generate user content from them um, that you can use on your website. And if you have a photo and memories product, um, then ensure uploads are easy and you have a unique story that can be built through that. If you're interested in photo and memories products, which is a paid um, service that you can provide, we have information on that in our enablement partnership um, list, which you can find on the website. And it also has lots of other people that you can link to to help you develop your business. Um, be found. Really important when people are sharing that they can find you and to do and that any pictures that you have that have been shared on Ma Fongwu and Chongyo in China are geotagged. And this means when the photo is uploaded, they push location and straight away, if someone wants to, they can find you online. In order to do that, you must down, uh, be geolocated on Google Maps and absolutely on Foursquare which is used um, by WeChat and in China on social media. If you want to do those two things, um, and it's the one thing that we would recommend above anything else, go to our website. We have our, our booklets that will tell you how to geolocate on both of those platforms. And then make sure your branding is in images. If you've got any, that's really high visibility. It's not just there, so that it can be seen by people watching. And make sure your story is unique. Um, some really good reasons here why having free Wi-Fi is a very, very good idea. If you are not doing it, and particularly if your accommodation and at the upper end is globally expected, the, if you provide free Wi-Fi, you are more likely to get shared and it enables people to find experiences um, and your experiences. Um, get others sharing. This is um, an example of engaging content and you can get best of in fan photos. Some really good examples of great branded photos. Endzone Skydive here um, has branding in a number of places and um, their branding is um, able to be seen really clearly and linked to any images about them. And this is in contrast to an unbranded photo and a missed opportunity. But also, if both of those are geolocated, then that is another chance for you to be found and someone can click on your location and address. The second part to this is make sure you have absolutely great material. If it is great, it will be shared. If it isn't, um, it will not inspire and it won't be shared. 
And here again is another sk uh, skydive tarpo um, with um, really good um, headlines that inspire connection and response and photos. Talking about platforms, um, certainly your website is your primary platform. It's of relevance to all of your visitors from every market and also our Chinese visitors will go there. And, and look in detail about what's important about a website in our module. WeChat is China's most active platform and it is a growing platform with 700 million users worldwide, 500 million from China and 83% of all of our China independent visitors and um, many of our group visitors are also using it in New Zealand. It enables sharing but for you the most important thing is it is enables you to build up a database. You can become friends with people through your business on WeChat and it gives you a chance to send them notifications, reminders um, and photos and images to keep connected and encourage sharing. The, the last um, or oh, is get into or oh, sorry is to get into the world so make sure that you are on every website that is free and relevant that you can be um, you look at your regional tourism sites the New Zealand tourism sites you consider geolocation um, platforms geozone and scoot which you can find out more about on our website um, and global sites so look at what's relevant for you and your business and then there's lots of tips on the website about getting more active. So, um, and QR codes are one of the keys to that. And again, how to set up a QR code um, for your business. It's very, very easy. It will take you a matter of minutes. Um, there's information about how to do that and it can be linked to your website in English or if you do have some of your website at some point translated into Mandarin you can link that QR code to the Mandarin page on your website. Um, and here are some examples. Um, it can also be useful for menus um, to have a small discrete um, QR code that can link to a menu on your website. Some guidelines and examples of how WeChat works. Um, again, you can look at this um, in, uh, online and there is a development plan. Everyone who is in this sector in New Zealand should have a private um, account and again we show you how to do that on our website. Public official account has got high, high functionality and if you're very focused on this market look at that in more depth on um, In summary we've got some key tips for um, directly communicating about getting good content, doing regional posting and sharing, um, get involved in WeChat, have QR codes linked to your website, use geolocation, have exceptional material, accept China Union Pay, um, the China credit card, have free Wi-Fi, ask visitors to share, Work with consolidators for bookings and payments, which does have a fee but can actually really activate bookings. Make sure your platforms are mobile first. Use coordinate location addresses as well as your actual um, address so you can be found. Consider geolocation push notifications and look this up, Geozone and Scoot, and make sure that you are on global review sites. There's a checklist to see how you're going on each of these levels. We've got some outlines for digital um, planning. And in terms of the Lean Canvas plan on the page, this is one of your key channels and paths to communicating and connecting with customers. So all the best with your digital plan. Do go to the website for more detailed information um, and uh, more information um, about building value from our Chinese visitors from of the FIT or independent group.